Um, the next one here, you can also use it to generate an IEP or to use some something to help generate some different goals. So I'm actually going to this time because I had started a document. I'm going to open up the document here that I have under IEP goals. And it's very similar to when David was laying out the lesson plans and the, the different items that showed up in those lesson plans all get saved within that area. Um, and I'm going to open up this one here that I had started the other day. Um, and I talked about a student who had some, there are three grade levels behind in reading, a couple of grade levels behind in math. And you're going to see then that it, it starts to develop these IEP goals for that particular student, you know, focusing on reading comprehension and fluency and vocabulary. Now, these might be goals that, you know, you think are maybe not exactly what you would like to do. Um, so as David was showing, you know, maybe you don't want to use text to speech software. Um, so you can just delete that part out and it saves it for you um, in the way that you want it. Um, but you can see that it also asks when you were prompted to do this. I had to enter in some areas that I also perceived to be the student's strengths. So not only did I think this was neat because it's trying to help to make up for a deficit in some of their goals, um, but it's also giving them goals that are also based on what some of their strengths are. And, you know, you know, when we think about sometimes we need to compensate for our weaknesses and take advantage of our strengths. So this gives then, I think, the opportunity to kind of keep that sort of a mindset and focus um, that students should be taking advantage of their strengths and not just spend all of your time necessarily making up for the things that they're not doing well, because that just kind of leads a student then um, to feel like they they are a failure that they they're never going to be able to succeed um, in your particular class so that's kind of a neat little tool that they that they have built right in here to school ai as well that again is one of these that's available for free um, and then there's also this iep one um, where you can then, in addition to entering in the grade, um, enter in, you know, has this student been labeled with a, a particular um, label? Are they ADHD perhaps? Are they, they uh, on the, the autism spectrum? Um, and you can enter in your different things here and click generate as well. Again, just like I've cautioned before, and I know that you know better than this, um, be careful entering in any sort of personal identifiable information in that PII, because that's really, I think within this program, the one place where you could really, um, things could go bad for you. Um, so those are a couple of the tools um, that I think are really strong.